Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a Valentine's Day look. If you guys have something to do, if you guys have plans, me, I'm gonna be in bed watching some ratchet tv maybe watching a sermon who knows and also i've got a little cute outfit so i'll show you that at the end as well so yeah hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys Mwah. my all my brushes are so dirty so thank god i received a package in the mail um and i got some new brushes i'm so gassed um this company called t lina makeup sent me some brushes guys so i'm gonna use them throughout this video when i say these are the most affordable brushes i have ever seen when they contacted me and i looked at their store and some of their brushes like brush sets as in this whole thing this whole brush set is under ten dollars so let's what is that like five pounds five pounds for all of these brushes they also have mini kits like this this brush set guys is four dollars like four dollars and look at this is so cute like you can literally slip this in your bag because i only ever pack one brush and like, i have to smear my whole face with the one brush like contour foundation and it it's a bit of a joke sometimes so this is so cute because you can literally slip it into your bag and this is eight dollars which is like four ish pounds all of these less than 20 pounds like way so yeah when i saw it, i was like girl i was a bit skeptical so i was like i'm not gonna promise anything like if the brushes come in their trash like i'm not i'm not gonna do the video sis but they came and they're so soft like this compact one i've already felt like i've already had a little feel these are so soft i'm like i'm shook that is so cute it comes in like a little purse so it just looks cute in your make in your handbag you know what i mean so anyway this is gonna be a valentine's makeup tutorial so i'm gonna use all of these brushes in the tutorial and i'm gonna review them as i go along and see how they see how we go you know so as always i'm gonna start by color correcting my eyelids this is to get rid of this coloration and make sure that your eyeshadow is going to be nice and vivid. And then of course I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier translucent powder so it doesn't crease on me. So the eyeshadow stays all day because ain't nobody got time for that. So next up babes, next I'm going to take this blending brush, this really fluffy one. I guess I'm going to start with this orange. I always like an orangish transition, that's just... That's just what I like. I like what I like. So, what are you guys' plans for Valentine's Day? I want to know. Like, do you guys have any plans? I certainly do not <laughs> have a single plan. And I'm really, like, couldn't care less. I'm not going to lie. Um, To be honest, like, I've never really cared about Valentine's Day. My first ever Valentine's, though, was actually so cute. Like, it was in secondary school. <laughs> Obviously. Or be, like... <laughs> And then I'm going to take this purple. Um, anyway, yeah, so it was in secondary school. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. Like, I did, to be honest, I did not expect anything because, like, I was, <laughs> I was, like, talking to this guy in secondary school. Like, my first ever, like, crush. Like, my, my first ever, like, real, like, <laughs> crush. So embarrassing to think about now. Anyway. I didn't expect any kind of Valentine's gift or anything because, honey, I was an ugly ass duckling. Like, I was not cute, TBH. So, and funnily enough, like, he was probably, like, one of the most popular guys in school at the time. This is, like, year nine. I think Americans call it middle school. I was, like, an ugly duckling. So, who even knows? It's only by God's grace that, that, that I was even talking to this guy because, I don't know, like, maybe he saw my personality and he was like, yeah that's babe but um yeah i was so confused like why did like why was he talking to me i don't know anyway so i i went into school i did not expect anything like i look like <laughs> i look like trash as always not trash but you know, i was just, just a regular ugly duckling yeah 
So then I got into school and then I actually had a really bad morning because there was this thing called flatty batty. So like, I don't know, like boys just, it was a little trend that they love to do. Like if a girl's walking past and they don't have a flat, how do I have a big bum? Which, hello, like my bum used to look steamrolled, low key, high key. <laughs> so they, someone shouted flatty batty to me on Valentine's Day. And I was just like, that is not nice at all. Like, what do you mean? So anyway, I was not having a good time in it. I was not having a good day already. So then I was on our way to like the first class. Out of nowhere, I see my babes across the room like, yo, what's going on? Like, um, to be honest, like, I was so embarrassed to speak to him in public because I honestly thought like, I'm not good enough for this guy. Like, so what am I even doing here? Like, this is my like 13, 14 year old, you know, head talking obviously obviously i'm all about that self-love now but back in the day it was a different story like i've been for a lot <laughs> i'm taking this flat this flat packing brush looks really good and on this i'm gonna mix this gold these two golds together i'm just gonna collect some of this glitter yeah so then he comes my night in shine my little night in shining armor and he gives me a pack of Maltesers and like a teddy bear like what like this is at 14 years old and bear in mind this guy was fine like he was cute like he was one of like i said he was probably one of the most popular guys in school so i was like yeah <laughs> me like a homie a homie okay like i was so gasped but obviously i had to pretend like it's not that deep like <laughs> I, did, I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Like, oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> kind of thing. But honestly, I was so gassed. Like, that Maltesers, yeah. You know the box of Maltesers? It was, like, quite a big box. But, yeah, like, that Malteser box lasted me, like, a whole week. Like, every day I was just eating one by one. Like, yep, that's my man. He did that. He got me the Maltesers or whatever. He loves me. <laughs> but, yeah, so that was so cute. But, honestly, like, I'm really not fussed about Valentine's Day. I'm, like, really content right now. I'm really content right now, just like doing my thing, loving myself and literally I saw this quote the other day that was like, you need to love yourself as much as you want someone else to love you. Once you love yourself and you're content, yeah, like you will never ever settle for less because you know like I can treat myself so so the only person that you should be giving a chance to is someone that could add value to you because you're already like on 100 so you only will collect somebody that will get you to 150 do you know what i mean realistically like nobody can tell you nothing like unless they are amazing they can't they can't sit with you i'm gonna use the benefit professional primer to prime my face okay so moving on to the rest of my face i'm gonna be using my huda beauty foundation because this is the most high coverage foundation so obviously like i want to look flawless on valentine's day and so i'm gonna use this foundation brush from the same kit to just you know spread that around my face i really like the finish of this brush it doesn't leave your makeup streaky um which is what i get sometimes with like these kinds of brushes and for the price guys i'm actually shook like this is doing such a good job definitely a yes from me like literally no streaks here for it i'm gonna use this brush for my concealer it's a bit flat and i'm just gonna swirl it swirl it around my concealer pot and then just highlight in all the areas that i normally highlight yeah oh, it's very nice application with this brush I can't believe this brush set is so cheap. You know, like sometimes with cheap brushes, like the hairs like fall out onto your face. Nothing with this, I'm telling you. I haven't even needed to dip my pot in very much at all. Like I've dipped it in one more time, I think. So the brush doesn't eat up your product or anything. And then I'm going to add my fawn concealer just to highlight a little bit more around my face. I like to layer concealers because it, I feel like it creates a higher coverage. So, y'all. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier translucent powder as per usual. Fenty Beauty contour stick. Contour my face. Snatch, honey. And then I'm going to take a tapered blending brush from the kit 
and then I'm just going to blend that out. These brushes are so good. Oh, look how seamlessly that blended out. I think I put too much contour, to be honest. So that's my bad, but it's blended it out really easily. And these brushes are so soft. Like, unfortunately, I put a bit too much contour. Um, so I'm going to sort that out, but that's my fault. So if you ever apply too much contour accidentally, all you need to do is take the brush you use your foundation with and then just kind of go under it and just blend it out a little bit. It's showing up a lot more harsh on camera. In real life, it's not that harsh at all. So, and then I'm going to use my translucent purge to go under it as well. I'm going to take that same foundation brush and blend out just that little those, those little dots of contour because I don't like a harsh I don't like a really harsh contour. This makes it really easy to blend out my contour because it's like flat. Yes, honey. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some highlights <laughs> so your babes can see you from across the room when you're on your little date, you know. He's gonna be blinded by the highlight. So far, I'm so impressed. There hasn't been any hair falling on my face, and I'm here for it. So I'm just gonna swirl some highlight into my Revolution Rock On Wells, and then just you know, get to work. Yours, hunty. I do prefer a fan brush. I'm not gonna lie. For highlight. Maybe if you want to highlight your nose and you want a precision and your cupid's bow, then this works. To bronze up my face a little bit, add some warmth. I'm going to go in with this this large powder brush with my black opal setting uh, finishing powder to finish my makeup. And like, you know, just add some warmth. We don't want to look ashy on Valentine's Day. <sighs> This brush is too soft, like what? What I like to do nowadays, I like to add a little bit of highlight on my forehead because I just feel like it just adds a little bit of a natural look to your makeup because how can you be all matte and there's just one dot of light on your nose? Like, does that make sense? Um, and then I'm gonna use my Profix Revolution Oil Control Fixing Spray to spray my whole face. And then the start of the show, this liquid lipstick, these two liquid lipsticks combined. First, I'm going to go in with my liner. Oh, it smells like cupcakes. I'm obsessed. This look is a little bit similar to my to my Christmas look, but this is a little bit more easy, I feel like, because I'm just using one palette on my eyes. So it's a little bit easier. For blush, I'm going to use that same palette. That's what I love about this palette, it's so versatile. And I'm gonna just use that shade right there because it goes with every look on the big fluffy brush. Wait, how can I forget my highlight on my shoulders, please? What? So yeah, make sure you add some highlight on your shoulders. So yeah guys, that's pretty much the end of the look. Simple, but effective, you know?